Yo, so I feel like we haven't talked about this topic in like a minute. And that's my bad. That's my fault. I apologize. But we're going to talk about my most recent pickups that I have for the month, man. So with that being said, y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Bro, my camera, please. What's good, Cam Crew? It's your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel, man. Now, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, I am your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks, and this is a channel that's focused on streetwear, sneaker content, and menswear fashion. So if you're interested in any of those topics that I just listed, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, and most importantly, drop a comment down below. And while y'all at it, go ahead and hit that like button. If this is your first time tuning into the video, hit that like button. If you just tuned into this video, hit that like button. Now today we're talking about my most recent pickups that I have for the month and upcoming month, actually, because I haven't done this in a good ass minute. Like I have, I've been hoarding it for a while. I've been holding it inside of my closet and some of my pieces been hanging up for a while. So I actually want to wear them and I actually want to get to styling them. So I'm going to show y'all the pieces that I got right now. So with that being said, I ain't even going to hold y'all no more. Let's get right into this. All right, y'all. First thing first is this essential three-fourths mock neck crew neck shirt that I had got. Boom. All right, this 1977 joint. This is actually fire. It's a soft and very light material that's on here. I think this is perfect for both the summertime and for the spring. Even with it being that in-between weather, like you can get away with wearing this. If it's like too much of a breeze, you get through with wearing this. This is dope. And if it's hot at the same time, it's three-fourths of a quarter sleeve. So you are perfectly fine. Like you'll still have some air that actually get through. You won't be too hot. You won't be too cold. It'll be like right in the middle. This is just real simple. It's just 1977 on here. And like I said, it's a mock neck on here. At the same time, it's three fourth sleeve. It's pretty chill. It's not too heavy. Like most essential pieces that I have picked out, Usually I have like some heavy pieces and I don't know why it's so heavy, but this one is actually pretty light. I like how it's just monochromatic. It's simple. It's nothing too much on here. It's minimalist on here. It just has this embroidered 1977 that's on here on the front. Ain't nothing too much to it. And then you have the essentials that's on the back. I think that's fire too. I think you can get a lot of different styles out of this. Now it is pretty wide and boxy, but that's all right. I mean, I don't have no problem with box fits. I think that's actually pretty dope. I have fun with the box fit. Yeah, this is my piece. Thought this was dope. All right, y'all. Now, next up is this polo, thick knitted polo sweatshirt. Now, I was tripping because I thought this was actually a t shirt, so I had end up buying really fast. So I thought that this was going to be a, a long polo t shirt, and it came out to be a sweatshirt. But I'm not even tripping about that. That's cool. I ain't got no problem with wearing no sweatshirt. I mean, I wear them all the time, whether it's spring or summertime, doesn't matter. I can still rock it, and, I've, and I'm still going to be fine anyway. But my only problem with this one is it's heavy as hell. I thought it was gonna be uh, something that's pretty light, but it's soft, that's what it is. The difference is this is soft, but at the same time putting it on, it's heavy as hell. There's nothing much on here except for essentials on the back. It does fit very boxy on me, I'm cool with that, but I wish he would have slimmed down on the arms because these arms are big as hell, man. And you're trying to figure out what the size on here is? It's, it's huge, man. All right, y'all, now next up is a piece that I haven't, I've, I haven't shopped in this place in a while, and it's Urban Outfitters. I haven't shopped here in a long time, but I was just looking, I was just shopping while I was downtown, and I ended up running into Urban Outfitters, and I was like, let me see what they got. And I end up seeing this floral camp shirt. This is a nice piece. If I just wanted to be on my chill, grown and sexy, if I'm just trying to stand out a little bit. And a lot of people are saying like the floral fashion is not out anymore. I'm not trying to ride any trends or anything like that. I'm not trying to ride anybody's wave. I'm on my own way. So if it's out for everybody else, I'm still gonna rock it if I think it's a good idea. So especially with me having this green up in here, I think, like I said, green is my thing. So we got green, we got pink in here, we got gray. It's a mature look. It's real sleek, so if I wanted to wear this when it's like breezy outside, I wanted to catch a breeze or something like that, I could be real chill, won't get overheated, I'll be cool, and at the same time, I'll look cool by wearing this camp shirt. So this is pretty dope. Went for $74, it's just right for me, especially when you're just trying to be chill and everything like that. So yeah, this is perfect. I think this was a good idea to grab for, uh, for the spring and summertime. All right, y'all, now another piece that I have is this blue sweatpants joggers from The Gap. One is it's pretty heavy and it's durable. Like it's it's a 
it kind of feel like a jean fabric but at the same time it feels like a sweatshirt type of uh, fabric that is this soft cotton feel only thing is it's expensive as hell to get from the gap I think these ran me for about $90 these are pretty expensive but at the same time these are like this old school fashion that I was telling you all about I do like the ruffles that's at the bottom and I do like it that's at the top but if you chose like a regular fit way bigger than I actually thought and it just really didn't cross my mind until I put these on and I'm like damn like these are pretty big so how am I actually gonna style this up with certain pieces but I made it work yesterday I actually wore these pieces so uh, I wore this with uh, another piece that I'm about to show y'all in just a second but this worked pretty well now the next piece that I got is a regular overshirt it's a denim overshirt from H&M I haven't shopped in H&M in years when I say years I mean years but the only reason I found this is because I was looking for a sky blue overshirt and I typed in it on Google and H&M appeared. I didn't really see anywhere else and other places didn't have like the fit that I was looking for. This was like a regular boxier loose fit. And when I put this together with the sweatpants that I have, with the blue sweatpants that I have, thought these was fire. So these are a huge must. This would be something that you could actually wear. I thought this was fire. So again, you can pick this out from H&M. All right, y'all, now this next piece is one of my favorite and one of my top pieces that I have out of everything that I have recently purchased. This is my Andre 3000 Big Boy Fat Stacks type of thing. This was a vibe for me. Uh, get on my Mr. Feeny type of flow, Boy Meets World type of flow. So uh, I wanted to look for a cardigan and I have a green, Kelly green cardigan. I was looking for this specifically because um, I didn't find this from any specific store. What I did was I actually typed on Google, I said Kelly Green Cardigans and looked at different stores to see if they had the fit that I was looking for. Didn't want nothing too tight, didn't want nothing too baggy, and I end up coming with this nice fella right here. This was exactly what I was looking for, especially with the ideas that I had because the things that I'm gonna be wearing with this, I already know like the button ups, the turtlenecks, and everything I'm gonna be wearing with this. I'm definitely gonna wear this a few times, but how I'm gonna freak it this summer, yo, this style is gonna be, I'm gonna freak this style out, like go crazy with it. I can't wait to wear this outdoors. This is gonna be super fire, especially with it like going against my just streetwear style. You'll see me dressing completely different a lot more. So uh, this is gonna be a dope vibe, especially if I wanted to have like a street style, but not a streetwear style, like t-shirts and hoodies and things like that. Stepping outside of my own, circle of comfort and doing something that's extremely fun so this cardigan fire all right now my last piece that i have is the piece that i've been hoarding around for a long time because i didn't want nobody to see that i had it this is a jacket an over jacket from zara now this boy cost me a pretty penny this cost 125 i haven't worn this yet <laughs> but I have a lot of ideas to style with this. I can't wait to wear this. I love the cloth on here. It's not like a jean or denim fabric. And on the inside, this smooth silk-like green that's on the inside, this is tough. So the, the attention to detail is fire on here, especially when it comes to color, is sick, sick. And this is a boxier, this is a box fit and it's a crop fit. So it's lifted up from the bottom and it's more of a wider fit, but that crop is gonna make the style look even better because I'm gonna have something that draped a little bit lower beneath the jacket, so it'll give levels to the layers that I have. Fire, my boy. All right, y'all, that's it. That's it, that's my bundle of clothes that I have picked out, my pieces that I have for spring and summertime. Like I said, a lot of these pieces will be worn ASAP. I'm gonna be either wearing it in the spring or the summertime, either or, it doesn't matter whether it's a sweatshirt, sweatpants, jean jacket, denim over jacket, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna be wearing it regardless. I won't be doing another video like this for a minute, I'm pretty sure, because I'm more so focused on actually getting Ivy clothes. I wanna get my daughter's clothing game. I wanna get her wardrobe up to par, especially seeing that she's about to be one. With that being said, thank y'all for watching this video. I want y'all to get this a thumbs up if you really do support the channel, if you support the video, if this is your first time, I want you to hit that thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know which pieces you like the most. Let me know, drop all those comments down below because it helps my channel even more and help me understand for the things that you all want to see and when it comes to my channel all right now with that being said i'm gonna get up out of here man i appreciate y'all watching the video as usual i'm your homeboy cam quarter banks i'll catch up with y'all next time y'all know the vibe i'm out i'm gone i'll holler at y'all all right peace